choice. Is it really? Or is it silly to say that a choice is given when no voice is given to the one whose life is taken away? No, not silly. Tragic. A tragedy of epic proportions where epic distortions have led to an epidemic of holocaustic abortions. Murder. Yes, I said the word. It isn't easy to hear, but it needs to be heard. So it needs to be said. Because blood has been shed. Because babies are dead. So I will not opt for a soft word instead. Choice? Yes, choices are made. Some choose to silence babies' heartbeats with violence, and hitmen called doctors choose to get paid. Now here's where it gets dramatic, where I get labeled a right-wing extremist, a religious fanatic. But let me be emphatic. I'll take any name as long as I proclaim Christ and save babies from being sacrificed while I'm at it. That would make me ecstatic. So go ahead and aim your verbal automatic and fire away and get erratic. To me, that will not be in the least bit problematic. But here is where the problem lies. It's where Christians choose to compromise. It's where we choose to cover up our eyes while baby after baby dies. It's where sinners are sinking into hell and we have saving truths we choose to refuse to tell. That's the reality. That's the current mentality. Some offer baby girls and boys to an idol called choice in the name of convenience and individuality. While Christians refrain as sinners perish in vain and babies are slain through legalized medical brutality. So where is the hope? For the Christian who's failed to take a stand, he still extends his nail pierced hand. So for the sake of his glory and the sake of his fame, let him fan your flickering flame and casting aside the fear and the shame, repent and obey and speak truth in his name. So where is the hope? For the sinner, there is faith and repentance because God can wipe away your sentence because he chose to send his son, the one he chose to sacrifice in the sinner's place so he can give sinners grace. Because there is no sin without or within that his redeeming blood cannot erase. He can impute to sinners his righteous perfection through his death and glorious resurrection. So don't let it get distorted. You can be forgiven even if you've aborted. That's the truth. Don't ignore it. If your heart is contrite, he'll make it right and restore it. Choice. Some will make the choice to arise, to open their eyes, to see through the lies, to turn from foolish to wise. Choice. Some will make the choice to refuse, to reject truth and good news, to still stumble and snooze, and they'll have a whole lot to lose. Choice. What will you choose?